plaintiff, Mark Anthony, dated the defendant for almost five years. And he says when she's mad, she erupts like a volcano. Mark is suing because he claims during an argument, the defendant damaged his Xbox. Defendant Sierra Gom says Mark is nothing but a lying, cheating dog. Sierra claims she went through Mark's phone and found text messages of him offering to sell his body to other women. And she has the messages in court today. She's countersuing for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. All right, and sir, you're suing your ex-girlfriend for $2,000 for the cost of an Xbox and emotional distress? That is correct, y'all. All right, and you're countersuing for $3,500 for emotional distress. Correct. All right. Judgment for the defendant. <laughs> <laughs> so you knew I was going to say that. You tell you got to deal with a man that will sue you over the Xbox. <laughs> Your honor is deeper than the Xbox. All the money you sue on him for, for emotional distress. God, with you, sir. Give me some background. All right. Pleasure to meet you, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, let me start off by saying this. Um, when this young lady is mad, upset, or sad, she erupts like a volcano in the Himalayas, okay? Either you can stand it, cool. either you can stay and bear it, or you got to get out the way, okay? Let me know when uh, to leave. Uh, but yeah, uh, I met her about uh, uh, February 2017. I was going through a dark time in my life, actually, at that point in time. I was going through a divorce. Uh, I didn't want to leave the home. I barely went to work. I really didn't even want to eat. But I had a friend of mine come pull me out of the house, say, hey, listen, you need to get out. Let's go to a strip club and let's go meet up with some so girls. So you were down and out. Yes. And your wife was having a divorce party. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah, pretty much. And I was getting the short end of that stick sitting in, you know, drowning in my own misery. But like I said, I had a good friend to come pull me out. And so um, we met up with his lady friend and a friend that she knew, which is her. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hit it off pretty good. Um, pretty much she got to listening to what I was going through and my issues and, you know, between sharing things, like I said, we hit it off with a stitch, you know. And uh, we've been together since then. Like I said, almost five years now. And um, How's it been during those five years? During the five years, it's been actually pretty good. I mean, we've had ups and downs just like any relationship, Your Honor. You know, it has its ups, it has its no, downs. No, I don't. I don't have any downs in my relationship. You don't? Okay, you've been married for Never. a long time? I've been married for 37 years, been going with us for 40. There you go. Never has down moment. There you go. That's that's good. Well, oh, oh well, we we've don't, had. I'm, don't compare me to you. Oh no, of course not, Chad. Of course not. Well, but, everybody but, like but you, Your Honor. No, <laughs> no, not like me. Of course, but unlike you, that's what you used to say when you talk to me. Unlike <laughs> you, Your Honor, I have a lot of problems. Unlike you, Your Honor, there you I, go. I've had some ups and downs, there you and go. nobody's perfect. <laughs> and nobody's perfect. But uh, yes, I have had my ups and downs, but right. nothing. Everybody to the... does. You know, I'm having fun. With yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. Of course. Leave. Of course. You're looking through my wonder every blue moon. No, it ain't no ups and downs. It's all down for me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I got that right. But yeah. Uh, and then um, just recently uh, of August uh, 2022 here, um, uh, I was actually having a gaming night. And you all were still together, right? Still together. We're still together. Yeah, still together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was having a gaming night uh, with a couple of friends. And um, I noticed that she was acting a little differently, you know, a little bit more attitude-y, you know, not talking and things like that. And she wanted me to clear the house. And I kind of assumed it was for something that maybe she... Yeah, you are right. We do have the same situation. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it's because of something she might have seen in my phone that upset her. You know? No, we don't have the same situation. Let me uh, back we, away from then, that then again. We, then we don't. Then we don't. But yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that's what the case was. And she was very upset. But me being... I think, in my opinion, a smart young man. I can tell her vibes, and she's changed a little bit. She's acting a little. Her demeanor is different, and so I decided to clear the household, you know, of my friends. And you know, and once they leave and go on about their business, it it becomes that volcano erupting again, like I how I told you to be getting here. So she kind of attacked me in a way, and it was just like, okay, I knew she was upset. She already knew I was already drinking and gaming, you know, with some friends of mine. And um, like I said, her demeanor had changed. Let me allow her to give me some background. Okay. Ma'am, 
Okay, Your Honor, bottom line, he's a lying, cheating dog. I went through his phone and I found messages of him texting other females. Saying what? Saying, um, yeah, I would like to sell my penis and- I would like to sell it? Yes, he was trying Objection, to sell his penis. Your Honor. And I have the proof here. What do you mean, like a gigolo? Like a gigolo, yes. He's very flirtatious. What, what, what was the response? Okay, my response was yes, the response to the person who he was asking or he was telling he wanted to sell his penis. She was all for it. Like, oh, how much is it? Like for a quick visit and Okay. You have that? Can you direct me to that? Yes, I do. It's page two. Page two here. All the evidence. Hey, how much for a quick visit? He said one ten. And then he's talking about I can't, my girl mad at me now. How I need much that for money. a QV. Yeah, quick visit. Okay. You can't, my girl mad at me now. I need that money too. Exactly. I hear it. He's texting other women, saying sexual things behind my back. I was having a gaming night uh, with a couple of friends and um, I noticed that she was acting a little differently. She wanted me to clear the house and I kind of assumed it was for something that maybe she- Yeah, you are right. We do have the same situation. <laughs> 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 I'm assuming it's because of something she might have seen in my phone that upset her, you know? No, we don't have the same situation. Let me uh, back we, away from that we, again. Then we don't. Then we don't. Plaintiff Mark Anthony is suing his ex-girlfriend, who claims after an argument about Mark's infidelity, he bit her in the face and damaged her car. Sir, what do you say to this? Does seem like you're... Uh... It does seem like you're doing a little jiggle in here. In my defense, yeah. Sean, it was nothing sexual. She's just that a lady is... friend that gives me money whenever I need it no. from time to time, y'all. Okay, good night, daddy. What friend calls you daddy? Yes. Then the little heart emoji. Like, what friend does that? They're having a nice little conversation there. Y'all, again, like I said, and she's, I a, she's a lady him friend. about it. We got into a little scuffle. I tripped and then stepped on his Xbox. We hit the floor, Your Honor, and then this man proceeds to bite me in the face. As you can see on page six. Who was the initial aggressor? Uh, well, she, she I approached, was the initial I aggressor, approached the Honor. converse I approached him, so initially I approached him, upset. No, I'm talking about physical. Physical. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like I say, Your Honor, volcano in the Himalayas, Your Honor. I pushed I pushed him a little bit upset like explain this explain this you assaulted him first yeah okay and what happened after you assaulted him you say we hit the floor and he bit me in the face i ran off to the bedroom laid there crying he then proceeds to hop in my car he left for about 20 minutes came back as you can see on page four and three and four my car was damaged mm -hmm. No, I'm not suing for the car. Well, it's he's just... suing you. Let's get to that part first. Okay. 2000 for the Xbox. How did yes, he owe you for that? What happened? Okay, so when I first bought the Xbox, it's an Xbox Series X, Your Honor. I so... don't need to hear all that. I don't <laughs> even know what that is. I, I, it's, I, I... It's, 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 I don't own play games. Okay, okay, see. but it, it's... Uh, it's, <laughs> it's anybody it's... come here enough to you know I don't play games. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. And so my question is, she said she fell on it, or you all fell on it and broke it. Is that why you're suing for it? Pretty much, Your Honor. All yes. right. Uh, what do you say to that? If you all fell on oh, it we, and broke we it? We both she, fell all on All right. It. You're the one that was the initial aggressor. What's the emotional distress for? Uh, the emotional distress is for the fact that, I mean, that's that's what I like to do, Your Honor. Like I said, you don't play games, Your Honor, so I don't expect you to understand exactly. But it keeps me out of trouble. It, you know, when I go to work or I come back home, that's pretty much what I like to do. Instead of, like, hanging out and getting into trouble. You know? Good. I appreciate that and respect that. Thank you. you know, I a lot of young that, men that do that, and that's fine. Thank that's you. A appreciate good way that. to and be in your household. I think my son-in-law plays Thank a lot. You. He's a gamer. Okay. He there takes you go. care of plenty of responsibility. Now, how would he feel if his Xbox was destroyed? He'd probably be up in here too. Okay. I don't know, but uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, play. Okay. I don't know the importance of uh, very, you know, of uh -huh. gaming. Uh, I don't know the importance of gaming to individuals, but you know, I can see how it could be. Um, but no, I'm not giving you any money because uh, you are unable to play your Xbox. <laughs> Find another game, shoot marbles. You shoot marbles? Uh, I haven't done that uh, in a long time. That, it's that not the same, Your Honor. Stress. All right, you're, count, you're counting the claim, what'd you say? <laughs> Pitch pennies. Pitch pennies, yeah, if you can find another game, it's free. Uh, <laughs> so, 
Ma'am? Yes. What is your other emotional distress for? Okay, so throughout the relationship, um, he has made me feel really low at certain points. He but no, I was talking about in this instance regarding your car. You can't uh, sue folks for, for okay. relationship problems. You can sue them for assault. If he's assaulted you during the course of this relationship. Yes, and I have evidence of that. Of okay, fighting when my did face. it happen? That happened during the scuffle that we had. No, no, you started that. Anything else? No. All right. Judgment for the plaintiff in $1,100. Your claim is dismissed. You started the fight. You assaulted him. So whatever happened after that, you started it. Uh, have a good day. That's my judgment. <laughs> Hope you're not too upset with me. If you are, something, no? Disgusting. Okay. No. Okay.